Okay, let's explore this financial analysis problem. And this one deals with the company of Joel de Paris, Inc. for last year. And on the left side of the screen, you see the balance sheet information for the company, right? We've got assets and liabilities, beginning and ending. This is for last year. And we've got the income statement results. And the company paid dividends of 15000 last year. Okay, the investment in Busan on the balance sheet represents an investment in the stock of another company. So right there, that's a stock investment. We also see they have land that's uh, undervalued on the balance sheet. Now, the first thing we're going to do is explore how we would compute the company's margin turnover and return on investment. And I'll work return on investment first. Uh, by the way, you may want to watch this presentation full screen if the numbers appear a little small um, in the normal size window. All right, so the first thing we need to do is figure out what are the operating assets. Now, keep in mind that operating assets would not include the investments in a subsidiary, and it wouldn't include underdeveloped, underdeveloped land. Both of those are not serving in a current operating capacity. It doesn't deal with the operations of the company. So when we exclude those, we come up with the total operating assets. Then, of course, we've got to divide them by two to come up with the average operating assets. From there, we can compute the margin, which would be net operating income divided by sales. And that's the 405000 right there, net operating income divided by sales. So we've got a 10% margin. I'll, I guess we are tackling margin first. That's fine. If we wanted to calculate turnover, we would take sales divided by operating assets. And at this point, we have that information, right? We've got sales of 4050 to the left of my mouse divided by the 1620. That's our average operating assets. And when we do that, we come up with 2.5. And then the last part of this is return on investment. Let me slide this away and we can see that. Now, return on investment using the uh, DuPont approach, you can calculate that by taking margin times the tur turnover. So we've calculated a 10% margin, multiply it by uh, the total asset turnover, again, it's average operating assets, and we come up with return on investment of 25%. Okay, now next let's say you wanted to calculate residual income. Well, to do that, we first have to know what the minimum required return is. And that information would have to be given to us. So in this sample problem, we'll assume the minimum re required rate of return is 15%. We would then take 15% times the average operating assets that we just calculated, and that would give us 243,000 as the minimum required rate of return. And then to calculate residual income, we just take what was the real net operating income, what they ha actually had, 405,000, and we subtract the minimum required rate of return, and that calculates residual income. 